You know, they say war is hell, but nobody ever warned me about the dangers of a gamer's diet. Picture this, I'm in the heat of battle, fingers flying across the keyboard, eyes glued to the screen, when suddenly, a rumble. Not from the game, but from deep within my gut. Like a dragon waking from a thousand-year slumber, I unleash a fart so potent, it could have been a special attack in the game itself. In an instant, my cozy gaming den turns into a foggy swamp, the air thick with the stench of a thousand rotting pizzas. It was as if my digestive system decided to go nuclear, right there and then. It was a smell that could peel paint off the walls, a smell that could make a skunk faint. And there I was, stuck in my chair, in the middle of a live stream, with a cloud of my own creation surrounding me. Now here's a dilemma for the history books. Picture this. You're in the middle of an epic battle, your viewers are on the edge of their seats, and then, bam! Your gaming sanctuary is transformed into a noxious nerve gas chamber. The stench, oh the stench, it's like a thousand-year-old dragon just had a spicy burrito for lunch. You're torn between two equally urgent needs, keep the game going, keep the viewers entertained, or escape the olfactory onslaught that threatens to knock you out, it's a battle of wills really, the will to win versus the will to breathe. You try to control the situation, maybe wave your hands around, hoping to disperse the fog of war, or should I say the fog of fart. But alas the stench is stubborn, it's here to stay. The game was on, the viewers were waiting, and I was stuck in my own personal stink bomb. In the gaming world we face all kinds of enemies, but this, this was a new level. Now, you might think that being a hardcore gamer only involves battles on screen, but let me tell you sometimes the real war is fought in the confines of your gaming room. This time my opponent was not a dragon or a zombie, no, it was something far more malevolent, something I had summoned myself, a fog of flatulence. As the room clouded up like a post-apocalyptic landscape, I found myself in a predicament that no tutorial or walkthrough could have prepared me for. I was stuck in a standoff between my dedication to my viewers and my need for fresh air. In a heroic or perhaps foolish attempt to keep the livestream going, I pressed on. My fingers danced over the keys, my headset firmly in place, my eyes watering from the stench that could only be described as a fusion between a rotting swamp and overcooked broccoli. It was a smell that would make a skunk blush. Just when I thought things couldn't get any worse, the chat box exploded with reactions. My loyal viewers, unable to smell the horror that I was enduring, were thoroughly entertained by my plight. Comments ranged from, did you summon a demon, to, are you trying to smoke out your opponents in real life too? And my personal favorite, is this a new fog of war strategy? But, in the midst of the chaos and hilarity, I found a strange sense of camaraderie. Here I was, battling my own digestive system, while my viewers rallied around me. Their laughter and jokes, while at my expense, provided a strange source of comfort. And so, with my room resembling a scene from a horror movie and my nostrils begging for mercy, I pressed on. I fought the good fight against the dragons on screen and against the dragon in my belly. So, I soldiered on, my eyes watering, my nose protesting, and my dignity. Well, let's just say it was on vacation. In the end, even the mightiest of warriors must admit defeat. The fog of war, or rather, the fog of flatulence, became too much. Even the most dedicated of players must sometimes pause their quest for glory and face the reality of the situation. In this case, that reality was a room so filled with an unholy stench it could have been a level boss in its own right. With a sigh of resignation, the stream was put on hold, the game paused, and windows flung open with fervor, previously reserved for epic boss battles. The cool outside air rushed in, battling the lingering fog, and slowly, but surely, the room began to clear. And so, a lesson was learned that day, one of humility, of admitting defeat, and of the importance of good ventilation. So, there you have it, the tale of the gamer and the fart cloud. Now it's your turn. Got any funny gaming stories to share? Drop them in the comments and let's see who can top mine.